Hello students. So in the previous class we have studied the same process finding out the HCF by continuous division method. In that video I have taken two digits. Can you see the difference? See students the difference is one, two, three. In that it was only two numbers. Here I have given three digits. This method is little confusing. If you know the, what division perfectly you can solve very easy and very systematically too so please be perfect with the division solve what you own take some division problems solve thoroughly and be perfect with the tables as well as be perfect with multiplications these are basic things for you you are in fifth standard you need to be knowing very perfectly all these things yes today this is the question asked 42 72 and 108 the three terms I have given now I am going to take only two terms I am going to take only two terms first later I will take the third term I will take first these two terms ok see here I will take 42 as well as 72 then 42 as well as 72 how I am going to take please look at the board the same method you are going to divide with smaller number as well as with the larger number you are going to divide the larger number yes so first 42 divided with 7 now take the table just multiply ok 42 ones are 42 42 twos are you will not be knowing the table of 42 and all what we have to do at that time you are going to multiply see 2 twos are 4 2 fours are 8 that's it you are going to do multiplication for that reason I have said you Please be perfect with multiplication as well as division. Okay. Yes. So 42 is about 84. Can you take 84? No. We cannot take. Why we should not take? Because it is greater number when compared to 72. 72 is a smaller number. So we have to take either equal number or we have to take smaller number. We should not take the greater number when compared to the divided. Okay. Yes. Now you are going to take. 42 ones are 42. Now subtraction 2 minus 2 0. 7 minus 2 3. This you got as what? 30. And this is what you have like remainder, quotient as well as divisor. Now again okay, you are going to take remainder as well as divisor. You are going to take remainder as well as divisor as what? 30 and 42. Okay, yes. 30, 1 is a 30, 30, 2 is a 60. Can you take 60? No, we cannot take. Why we should not take? Because it is a larger number. We have to take either smaller number or we have to take equal number. Then either we have to take the smaller number or we have to take the equal number. Then so now you are going to take 30, 1 is a 30. 30, 2 is a 60, will not take. So, 30, 1 is a 30. Now, subtraction power, 2 minus 0, 2, 4 minus 3, 1. Yes. Now, the next thing, again, remainder as well as divisor. Remainder, divisor. So, remainder you have 12. Divisor you have 30. Done. Yes. Can you do with this 12 table you know very well I guess it is very easy. 12 are 12, 12 are 24, 12 3 is a 36. What we have? We have 30. But we need to get the less number as what? 12 2 is a 24. 12 2 is a 24. Done? Yes. So now 10 minus 4 we will take one ball book. It becomes as 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. Now you got as remainder this one 6 and again 6 and 2. So students, till when we have to do this divide, dividing part, until you get no remainder, until you get the remainder as 0, till then you are going to solve all these things. Yes, 6 twos are 12, 12 minus 12, 0. Now you take the divisor after as 6. Now, can you see the students, one more term we have as what? One more term we have as what? 108. Now with this divide. 
divides the error. Again, you are going to divide with 108. See, just say this. Just say this. Let me see whether it will get completely divided with this divisor 6. Can we completely divide 108? We'll just check. If it completely divides, the 6 will be your HCF. Done. Just check it out. 608. 6 ones are 6. 10 minus 6, 4. Putting down 8. 6 twos are 12. 6 threes are 80. 6 six are 36. 6 sevens are 42. 6 eights are 48. 6 eights are 48. What remainder you got? 0 and 0. Right students? This 6 is completely dividing, right? So this we are getting the answer 0 and completely dividing. Not remainder, we should not get any remainder. The thing we should get remainder as what 0. So hence, let's see here of 3 terms is nothing but 6. Please students understand this 2. First you are going to divide with this 2 what we have done in the previous class. The same method. The last step what we remain for this. We are going to take the divisor. Then again you are going to divide with that. If it doesn't remain any, if it doesn't get any remainder, then this 6 or then this divisor is going to be your HCF. Please watch the video for 2-3 to three times if you are not understanding the concept. Or you can call me at the same spot, I can clear your account. So we will continue the next interesting concept in the next video. Till then, 